Hey, this video is for those of you who have ordered our Jumpstart Soil Conditioner or our Ultimate Compost Tea. In this video, I want to explain the difference between the two products and how you set it up and apply both products. So to start off, let's talk about the difference in the two. Both are made from our base formula, which is loaded with good microbiology, organic acids, and rich in, in activated carbon. The difference is what they're used for. So the Jumpstart is a soil conditioner and it's mainly used as a soil drench, meaning we want to get it in there around the root zone of the plant. It's ideal for when you go to plant your gardens because it does help in seed germination. It's ideal for when you've just planted your garden or, just, or before you're gonna put in your plants so that you can get the microbes, the carbon and the acids down in there in the root zone and start to condition the ground and get uh, cation exchange going, which we'll talk about here in a second. The Ultimate Compost Tea is not quite as high in carbon or the organic acids, but it's a lot higher in microbes. That's why we want to use it as a foliar spray. It is loaded with beneficial bacteria that's ideal for spraying through a backpack sprayer, mister, or even a spray bottle for houseplants to get a good foliar feed on the leaves and stems of the plant or vegetable crop. So we're gonna start off real simple on how we're gonna mix this. So you may have gotten a spray bottle if you have Jump Start, but more, more likely than not, you have a Boston Round or a gallon or even a two and a half gallon jug. So I'm gonna go over some of the principles of, of mixing rates and why we let it steep and things like that. So I'm gonna take the Ultimate Tea, and again, it's a foliar feed, a little bit higher in bacteria, and both products really set up the same and they're applied the same or they're mixed the same. So we want to do roughly a one to 20 ratio. So that's 20 parts water, one part solution. You can go as low as one to nine. We want you to get more water in there. You can go a lot more if you're spraying an entire garden and you calculate the rate of what it says on the bottle of the amount of volume it can feed, but you just want to get more control over spray and you're going to spray a little thicker. That is fine too. Uh, so what we we're going to do here is a 1 to 20 ratio. We have two quarts set up in here, which is 64 ounces. So 1 to 20 would be 64 divided by 20 gives us 3.2. So I want to put 3.2 ounces in this jug. Of course, it doesn't have a 3.2 marker. And like I said, it's kind of a, it's a ballpark estimation. So I'm going to get just below the 4 ounce mark. So a little over 3 ounces into 64 ounces of water. And you'll notice water's clear. This stuff is really thick and dark. Both of them are. The Ultimate Tea is slightly lighter because of the more bacteria. So as you pour it in, you'll notice it dominates the water really quickly. So what we wanna do is let that in there and give it a stir. And it pretty well stirs itself. It, it, it gets going. But the reason we're doing that, both products do have bacteria in them and microbes. As I said, the Ultimate Tea a little bit more. But as they get in there, they're going to oxygenate and aerate. And that's another reason why people don't understand our ultimate tea. They're like, how can you have compost tea in a bottle? Very simple. The microbes are in a vegetative state or they're simply sleeping. They're in spore form, waiting to get to an environment that's hospitable for them. They start to oxygenate, they start to breathe, they start to feed, and then they start to multiply, which gives you a lot of bang for the buck. So what we want to do is let this sit here and steep like a tea for at least one hour. If you're just concerned with a soil drench and you're not as concerned with the microbes, you can go ahead and apply, but we do still recommend that you let it steep for an hour so the microbes do kick into action. With both products, but really the ultimate tea, an hour minimum, and you can go up to as much as 18 hours. After 18 hours, your oxygen levels start to die off and they start to go back into spore form of vegetative state. Many people ask, can I put an aquarium bubbler in there? Sure, you can if you wanna keep it going a little bit longer, but they're feeding on the carbon reserves, they're multiplying. We have studies that show up at an hour, they double. So in 18 hours, they probably multiply exponentially to some factor. So you're really getting a good, good power punch. So now that I've got this set and ready to go, if I'm using Jump Start, I wanna use a soil drench, simply pour it around the base of the plant, put it in a backpack sprayer, spray the ground. As a foliar feed, 
and I'm doing house plants, I can pour this into a spray bottle and mist lightly, or I can put in a backpack tank sprayer as you would do in the summertime here in the south, spray your tomatoes, cucumbers, get the leaves, the vines nice and drenched. So the shelf life of these products are up to 18 months um, as long as they haven't been diluted. This, now that it's been open, it's good for 18 months at room temperature. Just don't let it get cross-contaminated, get any water or any food source in there. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please reach out to us and be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.